There is a lot that scientists don't know when it comes to how the brain is wired, but a new brain imaging initiative could lead to a better understanding of brain connections, which could result in improved treatments for people with conditions like Parkinson's disease and OCD. Hi, I'm Dr. Anastasia Yandiki, a Mass General Brigham investigator. Parkinson's disease is a movement disorder that causes uncontrollable shaking of the hands and other parts of the body, along with balance problems and stiffness. Obsessive-compulsive disorder is a mental health condition that causes unwanted thoughts or urges. People with OCD may engage in compulsive behaviors and obsessions that disrupt their daily lives. For example, they may insist on repeating a task over and over, or they may wash their hands, brush their teeth, or shower repeatedly in a particular way. We know that specific connections between brain cells or neurons are implicated in each of these disorders. Understanding these connections better may help us come up with better therapies. Magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, dates back to the 1970s and is a safe way of taking pictures of the inside of the human brain because, unlike x-rays, MRIs don't use ionizing radiation. Since its invention, MRI technology has advanced greatly and has given us ever more detailed pictures of the brain. These images help us diagnose and treat disease, and they also enrich our understanding of how the brain is wired. Treatment for Parkinson's focuses on relieving symptoms with medication. Treatment for OCD and many other psychiatric conditions typically includes both cognitive behavioral therapy and medication. For patients who do not find relief with these therapies, a newer treatment for both OCD and Parkinson's is deep brain stimulation, or DBS. Small electrodes implanted in the brain send electrical currents that stimulate the fibers that connect brain cells. DBS is not a cure for either condition, but it can improve symptoms in some patients. The more we can understand about how the brain is wired, the better our chances of delivering this type of treatment in an effective way. We know that neurons, or brain cells, connect to each other through fibers, which are like wires. How the neurons connect to each other determines the ways the brain functions. Think of the American road system. Some neurons connect through big interstate highways, others connect through small side streets or winding country roads. We do have a map of the brain interstates, but we still have a lot to learn about the smaller roads. Many conditions don't seem to originate in a specific part of the brain. Instead, they develop because of how different parts of the brain communicate with each other through these fiber bundles. A map of those brain connections will help us see how the wiring works for each disorder. At Mass General Brigham, we are leading a project to create the most detailed map of the brain yet. This multi-million dollar brain mapping project is part of a five-year grant from the National Institutes of Health. We'll use a powerful new MRI scanner, the first of its kind in the world, and some very advanced microscopes to take images of brains. We'll then analyze those images and create highly detailed maps with the help of artificial intelligence. Brain mapping will deepen our understanding of how the brain's fiber pathways connect and work together. We can use this knowledge to create better treatments, including even more accurate deep brain stimulation. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Anastasia Yandiki. For more clues to Cures videos, click here. And don't forget to subscribe here.